Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the movie on the Sega Mega Drive slash Genesis, by the way. I, I think I, did I mention that in the last part that this was on the Genesis? I, I believe that actually there was two versions of this game. This one obviously and then there was one on the, uh, the Super Nintendo. Uh, this is the only one I've played though, so uh, I might get around to the, uh, the Super Nintendo one at some point in the future. Because I actually do think they are different, I just don't know how exactly. Uh, but we're still playing with Aisha for the time being. I got a token there. Actually, an extra life. Or that, no, it's life up. Uh, credit is extra life. Life up is max. Is you basically bring your uh, health back to max. You know, it's getting a bit confused there. As you can see, I'm still getting a little bit overwhelmed by all the enemies here. It's a triceratops. Uh, life up again. I don't know if you actually get max life or you just get a chunk of your life back, I'm not sure. It might be like life max if it's uh, all the way back to max life, obviously. i still got a lot of these fuckers. To be honest guys, this game is not long. Even if you're playing on like normal or hard, I don't think this game would be particularly long. You could beat it in under two hours easy. And if you got a friend with you, then you probably beat it even less than that. Even, uh, actually, you'll probably be in under an hour on any setting, to be honest. Obviously, I'm playing on easy mode, and excuse me, I'm letting the cutscenes play out. So yeah, under an hour, simple game. It's hard to believe that back in the day, people were okay with um, one-hour games for like 30, 40 pounds. Fuck me, I would not pay that much for a game anymore. It, it not, I would not pay that much for a one-hour game anymore. No chance. You got the flame sword. I actually wonder if the animation's taken directly from the uh, the fighting game. If you remember, actually, as I said, uh, the only other Power Rangers game I've done on my channel was uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, just called Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, and it was also on the Sega Mega Drive slash Genesis, and it was the third Let's Play I ever did, all the way back in 2013. Holy shit, that was a long time ago. Uh, but yeah, that was the uh, part of the first crop of Let's Plays I recorded. Uh, before the channel had even gone live, so, uh, oh boy, that was a long time ago. And to be honest, I'm a bit surprised it's taken me this long to get to another Power Rangers game, but yeah, it is what it is. There's actually been a crop of decent uh, Power Rangers games come out in the last few years, because it was like a, a large, empty streak of no uh, Ranger games coming out. Like, uh, like at one point you had one or two for the, um, the Game Boy Advance, and I think you had one for the DS, and that was it for a long time, and then I'd say about, no, not 10 years, but you're probably talking about 7 or 8 years without a single Ranger game. Obviously, this show itself wasn't really all that popular anymore, but, um, yeah, there was a large gap there between, uh, there was a large gap there between games, and then you had the, uh, the not great side-scroller, uh, for sisters, but we'll get to that in a moment anyway. Oh no, this is, I don't think there's anything in here. So we actually have a boss fight here in a moment, uh, which I'll go into, but yeah. And then there was obviously the uh, the fighting game that's come out as well in recently times. It's actually apparently pretty good. Alright, for boss fights you have either the Ninja Megazord or you have the Falcon Zord that you can play as. Uh, I'm not a massive fan of how the Falcon Zord actually works, so we're going to go with the Ninja Megazord here to begin with. And a bit of a finger here. I'm not a massive fan of this Megazord. Uh, OG Megazord is fantastic. I like the Thunderzord as well, but this one, not so much. I like the Shogun Megazord, actually. That's awesome. This one I don't like, I'll be honest. Alright, so it's basically what you've been doing before, but obviously these guys have a bigger health bar. They're easier to, to lose to. And so you have the awesome music in the background as well. It is a pretty awesome set piece here, for lack of a better word, but... I don't really get, like, fucking Megazord from these. I get, like, cosplay Ant-Man right now. Or the Wasp, even. Actually, B-Man, he's got a big, fast, massive ass, doesn't he, so... 
I do like the design of the stage, though. Obviously, you have like the highway there to emphasize the size of the room, megazords and stuff. It's a uh, pretty cool in that um, aspect, but I don't know. I, I don't feel you can really do enough with the megazord. It's... And the fight goes on a bit too long, to be honest. And sadly, this isn't even like the last time we'll be fighting in this thing, so. Okay, so the thing is tagged out, and now we're going to take on Scorpatron. Uh, so I think they always do that, they'll um, occasionally tag out and let the other one take over for a bit. And again, you got the absolutely hair-banging music here. People can say whatever they like about the show, but the music in the show was unironically amazing. I don't know if we actually end up destroying these things yet. Um, we're definitely getting the thing low on health here, but uh, if there are other moves that I'm not showing off here, I apologize. I, I, again, I don't play well, uh, beat em ups very often after all, so it is what it is. I will occasionally fuck up with shit like this. I know I can only really hit this thing with a ground attack and stuff, but basically jumping around is just the fastest way to move around, so. And getting low in health as well. Thankfully, I do have plenty of credits though, so I'm not too fussed. Alright, we did it! Yay! And that actually was only the end of stage 2. I think this five or six stages in this game, I can't remember. It was a while ago when I actually recorded this, like I said, a couple months back. Uh, you can actually skip the entire thingy screen here, by the way. I don't know why I left it just running down. I guess it was a case I needed to speak about anything, but it is what it is. We'll put up with it for now. Alright, there we go. Boy, when I joined, I didn't f think that uh, things would get this rough, Rocky spoke. No kidding, Naisha replied. Adam replied, remember when we joined? Alright, so this is... Very much a, um... Oh, I'll get into it. At Rita's moon base, Lord Zed suddenly appears and seals Rita away for a couple of eons. Then plans for the Earth, ones that Rita should not handle. Could not handle. The Green Ranger had been losing his morphing powers, and Zed's new putties are giving the Rangers a... Very tough time. Even the Megazord and Dragonzord have been defeated. It seems like a time of darkness is about to come. As Tommy's Green Ranger powers faded, Zordon transformed him into the stronger White Ranger. Alright, so stage three. Uh, this is actually a flashback stage, and it actually has one interesting thing here. Red, Yellow, and Black Rangers are both Jason, Trini, and Zack. This is the only stage you can play these guys with. Maybe stage four. I think it's actually only stage three, though. Uh, oh, no, it's not the only stage, actually. You get two stages with them. Uh, which is kind of cool, so apparently we are going to play as Jason here with the Red Ranger, because Jason's awesome. Uh, it's a shame you don't get three stages. To be honest, the game could have probably done with nine stages, now that I think about it. I don't actually think the uh, the animations for attacks and stuff are different, even if you're playing Rocky or Jason. Again, it's just like a cosmetic difference there in the menu when you're selecting your ranger, so... Yeah, I vaguely remember which episode this is based off. It was right when the rangers got their um, Thunder Zords and stuff, when the originals uh, were basically destroyed because they had to destroyed them because we didn't have the footage anymore, which sucks because obviously the OG Megazord is still greatest Zord ever. I'm just saying, I'm trying to think of other... I mean, here's the thing, Power Range is still going on to this day, I mean, it's had a lull in um, 
viewership and stuff, obviously. The uh, the show is not nearly as popular as it was back in the early 90s. Anyway, it's never going to reach that height again. You know, despite a slightly more mature take on the series with a PG-13 film. And, I don't know, it, it does feel like the Rangers have had their best day. It still has po some popularity, as I said, but it's definitely not what it once was anymore, sadly. Yeah, I'm just waiting for something to attack me here. I do like the fact, though, that we get the putties in the flashback stages. It is nice to see the putty patrol back, even if they are basic pitches. We got the, technically the guys, these are the bosses in this area. We get the Sentinel Air, we get the Sentinel uh, Fist, I think, or something like that. Uh, there's a couple of them, um, and they're a bit of a bitch to handle, to be fair, because they have some interesting attacks. On easy, they're nothing, though. See, we're actually getting attacked by the putties as well. They were saying, I think a lot of the um, attacks by putties were actually in the uh, Angel Grove Park, from what I remember. I, I think it happened a lot, actually. I think this is meant to be the park, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know why there's a river in the park. I know there was like a small, steady stream, but that is definitely a fucking river right there. Ooh, more putties. Actually, watch. Ep what is the series? Is it Beast Morphers? I think at the time I'm recording this. All right, so we got the Sentinel Neck, uh, the Sentinel Ring. I think that's it. Yeah, ring. Okay. Uh, so these three definitely a bit of a pain in the ass, especially when you got to take on all three at once. But if anybody can beat them, Jason can beat them. And this attack here is actually really fun. Just basically a sprint and slash sort of thing. It's kind of OP, but... Hey, I'm getting attacked for you on one. Do you really think I care about fair right now? I right, definitely took down one of them. And that's the second. Just a year to go. Oh, it's the ring, actually, sorry. I believe our time's almost up with here, guys. So I'll say thank you very much for watching. I will see you guys in the next part. But until then, boys and girls, sign out.